diagnosis is a time where your whole reality changes and you've suddenly gone from being someone that you thought was well to someone that's been told they're really unwell. And so trying to cope with that is very difficult. And, and it is a time where you feel very alone. Even if you're surrounded by support, no one else is actually going through that moment. And it's like you have to go and live in a foreign country for a period of time without learning the language. So the doctors speak in confusing terms and they talk very quickly about things. You have to make decisions very quickly. And all of that is it's stuff that you've never thought about before. So I often talk to patients about the fact that it's a little bit like, you know, we give you this information and it's like we're standing you on the edge of the beach and we, we show you where we need you to go and it's to an island that's over in the distance. And you can just see the island but when you ask how, how am I going to get there, we say, well, here's a little coracle, there's a little semicircular boat that you have to stand up in and row. And if you just get yourself over to there, we'll be there ready to do your surgery, you know. And then we disappear. And you're left for three or four days trying to work out how to work this boat and how to get there. You know, it's a really difficult time. It's an unfamiliar circumstance. So it's very, very normal for people to feel very anxious about it and very alone. This uh, video is an attempt to give you a clinician's and patient's perspective of the journey that you're about to embark on. Um, it is a formidable task to get through, but there is hope at the end of this process after you've gone through treatment and patients do return to a normal and functional and rewarding life after their treatment regime.